Yo and hello, baseball collector wife here today. You may have noticed Mike's absence here recently. That is because he is in Guatemala with our daughter and several dads and other daughters on a mission trip. So in his absence, we get to have a summer mail day. And look at this, look at this pile. Holy cannoli. We are gonna have some fun today. I promise to hopefully make this quick Although, you know how it is with me. It may be like two hours by the time we're done. So, you guys ready to dive in? Let's see what we got. All right, so here's our first package. And you guys know that I like to open these up because the joy oftentimes is in the opening of the package. Although, I probably should have grabbed some scissors to do this instead of this knife. Because I'm probably going to end up, instead of shooting my eye out, cutting my eye out if I'm not careful. Okay, oh, look at this, hotty hotty. So we have one, two, three cards today. And I'm gonna see if I know how to do this little, I don't think, can I do a little? Oh gosh, I can't flip it. I have no idea. Oh crap, just dropped my thing. Okay, back to it, back to it. Okay, so I'll just show you the cards because I have no way of knowing how to flip this thing. I don't do video stuff like my honey does. So the first one you guys know is my favorite and it's great to always start on a fabulous note. We have Cal, dang, that glare is bad. Cal Ripken Jr. Let me turn the light off. Maybe that'll help. No, it doesn't help at all. Cal Ripken Jr. Hmm, huh. this is making me mad. How do I get this to work? All right, hold on. I'm gonna figure this out. I'm tapping all over this thing. Can I not switch it up? Hmm. Oh, well. So, maybe we'll just do old school. It's like, here you go. That work? I don't know. Let me check. Okay, so I'm back. And I actually had to go Google how to do this. And clearly, there is no way to flip the camera. So what I'm going to do is film these different cards and stop and then I have to guess put all this movie stuff together. I'm feeling very technologically savvy. So okay, so here you go. This is Cal Ripken Jr. and it's a 1985 tops. I'm having a hard time because I don't have my readers on. Goodness gracious. Okay, 1985 tops all-star card. So that's one that was in that. And then here's the other one. I haven't even seen this one. Oh, he is not a hottie. Hoyt Wilhelm. It's a 1954 Bowman, but it looks like it's got a signature on it. Huh. That's pretty cool. PSA 5. And then we have. Oh. Wait. A Nolan Ryan. 1990 Tops Tiffany. Mint nine. Isn't that a good card? I think a nine is a good one. All right, so I'm gonna pause this and then we're gonna open up some more. Okay, so Palmer came in, our son, and also said that I had the camera the wrong way. Go figure. So I switched it. So who knows? We may see all these videos are gonna look weird and then I still have a hard time finding the right spot. This was so much easier when I stole Mike's iPod, pad, iPad and recorded the I love you video on that. Okay, enough. Here we go, next one. Maybe what I'll do is I'll open them all and then we can have like a, um, a show and tell after I open them all. Maybe that's more efficient, so let's do this. Okay, so we do have a note on this one. I love it, love it, love it when we have notes. Mike, since you live in Texas, can you say hello to all my exes? <laughs> they are all over the place. Well, Ricky Russo, naughty boy, but hello to all of Ricky's exes. Um, that would not be me one. Okay, so he got a Willie Calhoun rated rookie card and a C.D. Pelham rookie card. And we'll have a show and tell here in a minute when I'll flip all this stuff and we'll kind of go through them real quick because I know you guys like to see that stuff too. Okay, you ready for the next one? Let's see. Open this up. Here we go. I wonder if this one has a note because I love them. Oh, let's see. Nope, no, nope. That's all right. Don't hold it against you. 
This is a Tom Glavine, Glavin, Glavine. It's a, he was a Braves. It's a Mint 9. And it's a 1989 Tops. Huh. Those 9 cards are good, aren't they? I think. Let me look. Hold on. So, Cal was an 8. And Hoyt Wellum was a 5. Why was he a 5? Because he had a little crusty corner or something? I don't know. Um, and then that Nolan was a 9. So, I think those were good. I think that's really good, right? So, are y'all getting excited for the National? I swear to God, if I hear one more thing about the National, I'm just going to pop. Okay. Oh, we got an Ichiro card. It looks like it's a signed card. And I have no idea who the maker of this thing is. Five Star Career. That's him. Tops. It's a Tops. So something AJ slash EE. I don't know. I think it's just a note that the person who sold it to me is. It's a five of 50. Pretty impressive. I'll show you in a minute. Okay. Let's see what else. All right. Here we go. It's a package in a package. Holy cow. Package in a package. Okay. What? I mean, thank you for being extra cautious, but that seems to be a waste of, waste of paper. Okay, Dave Winfield, San Diego. It's a Donruss. Oh, and there's another guy. Ryan Reen Sandberg. Ryan? Ryan. And Wade Boggs. I know that name. 1988 All-Star. Okay, I'll show you all that in a minute. These are not encased. Are these people Hall of Famers? Okay, so I don't know if these are cards or what this is. I'm thinking. Let's show the cards and then I'll open these things up because I think this might be other things. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so here we go. Now we're going to show the cards. I'm sorry my wrinkly hands are in your way. So that's that Dave Winfield Donruss. Nice signature on the front. Not a rated card, but that's okay. And there's the back. I don't know what all information you'll get off of that, but there you go. Pretty cool. Okay. Now here is the Wade Boggs card. Is he a Hall of Famer? I know the name. I don't know. I guess I'll have to go Google that. Google is an amazing thing. And then it's an all-star game way box. Okay, whoops. And now this one is, yeah, I had a hard time with this name. Rhine, Rhine, Rhine Sandberg. That's an easy last name, but is it Ryan? Or is it Rhine? I don't know, because like Rhine reminds me of like what you find on an orange peel. Oh, why do people make creative names that people like me can't even? Second baseman. All right, that's pretty nice. I've never heard of this guy at all, actually. It's a signature, that's pretty good. I do hear of known of this guy, but for, for some reason it says Miami. I thought Ichiro played for Seattle at some point in time. What do I know? Maybe I'm just not very smart and remember these things, but I sure thought he played for Seattle. And then that's the back of it. Five star career. Third pro player. Hmm. Okay. And then, here we go. Here's another rated card. So this is that Tom Glavine, Glavine, Glavin. He looks like he is 12 years old. Look at that little face. I mean, seriously. That 
is a professional ball player? Like, he should have been, like, on the Little League team at that point in time. I mean, I'm not doubting that he was a good player. You have to be a good player to be in the big leagues. But he just has a baby face. And that's a mint nine, and it's a 1989 Tops. So, why did Mike get this one? I've never even heard of this guy. Uh, was he, is he a good guy? Babyface Glavine? See, I'll have to go Google him too. Okay, let's go. Now we got C.D. Pelham. I wonder what C.D. stands for. And that's the back. Okay. And then you got this one. Willie Calhoun. Rated rookie. But is he, he doesn't even look like a rookie there. He looks like an old man there. I would have thought that little Tom Glavin would be a rookie card because he's like baby face at that point in time. And see, there's your backside. Okay, so we're going to take a pause in the show so we can go to the other stuff. And maybe I'll do a little research. Okay, bye. Okay, so I'm back. I'm doing a little research on some of these cards. And I didn't even know Willie Calhoun was a Ranger. Maybe I should go to more Rangers game. Looks like he is a current Texas Ranger player. And I was right about Ichiro. Um, his career started with the Seattle Mariners. And it looks as if right now he's currently playing for Miami. Were there any of these that I was really curious about? This Ryan Sandberg. Let's check this one out. Let's see. Nickname Rhino. That would have been easier to pronounce than Ryan or Ryan. Um, former national baseball player, coach, and manager who played with the Phillies and the Cubs. Um, but it doesn't look like he is. Oh, he is. He was elected to the National Baseball Hall of Fame in 2015. Okay, I have to tell you, I'm clicking on a picture here. And there's something about older men that just are really good looking. He looked cute when he's working for Peoria. Let's see if I can make this work. I'm going to show you this picture. So that is Ryan, Rhino, working for Peoria. Kind of got that like um, Cal Ripken look about him. That's why it's okay if Mike turns gray because he looks good. Okay, so now we know, or I know, Rhino Sandberg is a Hall of Famer. Now, Wade Boggs, I'm pretty sure is, because that name is very popular. Wade Boggs. He played for the Red Sox, but was also a Yankee. And he was elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame in 2005. Isn't that when that other guy was? Hmm, pretty cool. Okay, and then I want to look at this baby face guy. Uh, Tom. Glavin, Glavin, Glavin. Tom Glavine. Like bovine, but not. Okay, Tom is an American retired professional baseball player. Pitcher played in the American Leagues, Cleveland. Elected the Hall of Fame in his first year of eligibility? Holy crap -oly. That's really good. 91.9% .9 of the votes. Um, he also played ice hockey. That's interesting. He is currently older than me. Although, in this card, he clearly looks way younger than me. Okay, Dave Winfield. So this must be a Hall of Famer. Because, I mean, unless we're getting Texas Rangers cards or people that we think, yes, he is an old guy. And he is both a member of the Baseball Hall of Fame and the College Baseball 
Hall of Fame. And he is a seven-time Golden Glove winner and a six-time Silver Slugger Award. That's pretty remarkable. I, you didn't think you were going to get a history lesson with Julie today, did you? Mm -mm. Okay, we all know Cal is pure awesomeness, so I don't have to go into his history. But Hoyt Wilhelm. Let me see about him, because I don't know anything about him either. Hoyt Wilhelm. Let's check this guy out. Oh, he is an older dude. I don't want to say old, but he's pretty old. He was born in 1922. That's a long time ago. And he was elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1985 and is one of 78 pitchers enshrined in the hall. Um, he played for a lot of people. Giants, Cardinals, Indians, Orioles, White Sox, Angels, Braves, Cubs, Dodgers. So he has been around the town for sure. But hey, he's a Hall of Famer. So it doesn't matter who all you play for as long as you're Hall of Famer. And of course we all know Nolan because, I mean, who doesn't know Nolan Ryan? So no offense to these dudes that I didn't know, but yeah. Now I do know, and that's really cool. So when someone says something about Dave Winfield, I can say, well, he's a Hall of Famer. I know all about him. I feel so educated. All right, so I'm going to pause this for now again, and then we're going to see what all these big boxes are because I think they're not cards. I think there's something else, but we'll see. Hopefully it's not anything that's going to make me go, ooh, okay. Okay, so I'm back. I have no idea why I paused it because I could have kept going. So it's craziness. So we're going to open up this one real quick. And I bet this is a comic book, y'all. And if you didn't already know, Mike is a man of many hobbies. Baseball cards collecting is of the top of the line for him. But there are a few other things that he likes to do, which includes getting comic books. And he does this with our son Palmer and so this is something that they enjoy and I should have really opened this up beforehand so holy crap this is super hard to open Ooh, kind of bending don't want to bend it seriously 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 I'm gonna have to use a saw to open this thing the heck do they expect me to get into here? And then there's more tape. Like, I can only imagine what this person puts Christmas presents like. Man. Huh. Whew. And now there's another package. In the package. Press firmly to see. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we got. I did not damage it, although I might have been able to, but I did not damage it. This one is taking like 10 years just to open. This is where my opening in the moment philosophy may be backfiring because this just doesn't even, golly, it's like layer upon layer upon layer upon layer. It's like those little oriental Russian boxes. Oh, that doesn't make any sense. Those Russian dolls. You know, we open one, and then you get in, there's another one, and another one. This is what this is like. These Russian, this is a Russian doll package. Okay, here we go. Whew. Now, Amazing Spider-Man! That's really cool. I have to show Palmer, because he'll like that. Okay. Next one. That one was already open. That's weird. Okay. Well, let's see. There's more here to this one too. This one's a little bit easier. This is not a Russian doll one, but it's pretty close. But they did do a good job of making sure that it's nice and tight and straight so that it doesn't get damaged in the mail process. So I, I hope that even though I'm opening what appears to be a bunch of comic books that you guys are interested in this because I think that all collectors appreciate collections regardless of what that collection is. I mean, if your grandma collected silver spoons from different countries, 
you should have a great appreciation for your grandmother, right? Okay, so, oh, more amazing Spider-Man. This one is pretty cool. This is a variant edition. And this has got like, look at that. It's like burnt orange and black. And then this is an amazing Spider-Man as well. That's pretty nifty. Okay, so you may be finding out more about Mike than you thought. And he may have thought, why did, is Julie opening all of my comic books on this as well? So, let's see. I think this is another comic book. Because they kind of come all in that same kind of packaging. <gasps> no, this isn't a comic book. This is some baseball cards, y'all. I'm glad we're checking all the packages now. So now we're going to go back into baseball. This is some fancy stuff. This is like postcards. This is like really nice. I'm excited to see what we have here. Okay, and I may just show you instead of having to worry about putting it all together because this is fancy. Ooh, these are pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay. So, this is a Johnny Mize Masterworks. This is PSA DNA certified. And this looks like it's a, a postcard. So, can you see that? See that? Yeah, pretty nifty, right? Huh. So, on the back side, that's where you would write your mama. Okay, so then this one is another postcard, Charlie Gehring. And both of these are signed. And these are old players. So this is another PSA certified postcard signed. That hair back then was pretty awesome. You know, they keep it short and it's kind of wavy. Well, that was awesome. Okay, wonder if, let's see, do you guys, let's do, a, put some wagers on this. Do you think this is going to be a comic book or do you think this is going to be something baseball related? I'm going to say comic book, but the other one really surprised me because it totally had a feel for baseball. I mean, comic book, and then it turned out to be baseball. So, who knows? So, it's easier to open in the sense that it has a pull tab, but it's harder to open in the sense that it's harder to open. Okay, here we go. Um, oh, oh, come out, come out, wherever you are. Look at this. Oh, this has got a little note. Oh, okay. Well, not really. It's just got an invoice. So, um, but this was a comic book as well, but it is not The Amazing Spider-Man. It is... Yoda, oh, Obi-Wan, come help me say me, Oda, Oda, Oda. I wish I could remember how to speak Yoda talk. I don't even remember. That would be kind of funny right now, but I don't remember. <sighs> That's what happens when you get older. Your brain forgets certain little thingies. I think I used to be able to talk like Yoda. Okay, we got one more. Look, it's a big one. It's a jumbo size. One. I wonder what this one is. This one is either comics or baseball cards. Okay, so, I mean, we've got a hodgepodge of stuff today. We've had comic books. We've had from Spider-Man to Yoda to... Baseball cards that are rated, not rated, to Hall of Famers that I had no idea who they were, to Hall of Famers that I knew, to, okay, holy cow, that's another package. I mean, this is excessive. This is truly excessive. You know, we wonder why our landfills are so full, and it's because of Mike Moynihan. 
and all of the packaging that people use to nail him things. I'm gonna have to say, are you kidding me? Look, this is another little Russian doll package. All, z I think somebody's doing it just to punk me. Like, okay, let's see if there's another package in the package. Why would you need three freaking package liners to do this package? It's crazy ridiculous. I mean, I get it, you wanna protect it, but that's a lot. This is a lot of trash. It's gonna go in a landfill. <sighs> Think about our children one day, and our children's children. Okay, so this says sports. So I'm gonna guess that this is baseball cards. Let's take a look. Okay, so these are some big honkers. Let's see what this is. This is a Carl Hubel, Hebel, Hubble, 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 Carl Hubble. And this looks like, oh, there's two on one side. So Carl Hubble, here we go, Carl. These are like little pictures that are signed. And Bob Lemon. Does this say who the artist of these is? But these are steel postcards. So maybe the artist is somebody steel? I have no idea. I guess I could Google it. I don't want to open them. It's really pretty. Okay. I love baseball artists. There's this one. Lefty Gomez. Looks like he's like constipated. His foot is way in the air. And then we have Red Schoendienstin. Schoendienst. Schoendienst. Is that German? Schoendienst. See? Here, can you see it? Schoendienst. Okay. And then. Warren Spahn, Spain, Spain, Spawn, Spain, Warren Spain, not Warren Peace, but Warren Spain. Okay, so that's it for Mail Day, friends. I hope that you have enjoyed your time with me today. I know that it can be a little exciting to spend some time with Julie. Um, we got a lot of stuff today and uh, I think Mike is going to be excited to come home and play with his stuff. Um, and I say he does. He comes in here and he plays. Um, so I may not see him. So anyway, he'll probably update you tomorrow about his time gone and away and um, keep collecting y'all. That's all we have to say, even if it's grandma's silver spoons, keep collecting. All right, have a good day, bye.